All right, so we're gonna start by covering our eyebrows. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna cleanse the area to make sure there's absolutely no oils on the skin. And to do that, we're gonna use alcohol, so. Good old vodka. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that onto a cotton pad. And then we're literally just gonna wipe completely over the eyebrow area. Right, next step is we're going to take a glue stick. So this is basically a glue stick from the craft store. Um, that's what I'm using today. And what you want to do is you want to use it to stick the brow hair down. So you're going to start by going into the hair grain. So you want to really coat the underneath of the hairs with the glue. So just kind of really work that in. And then you want to glue back the way. So you want to really push the hairs flat. So kind of up and out. Now we want to repeat that, so we want to do that about two, three times until the texture of the hair is completely gone. So I'm going to repeat that process two, three times and I'll see you back in a second. So now you just want to take our setting powder. So I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier um, setting powder and you just want to put that on top of the sponge. So that's just going to set the glue and just give us a nice smooth base to work on top of. All right, now you can obviously can still see the, the color of the brows through the glue. So we're going to counteract that. So I'm going to use an orange lip liner. So this is the Napoleon Purtis Perfect Poppy Lip Liner. And I'm just going to put that on top of the, the brown. And what that'll do is that'll help to counteract that color. So when we put foundation on top, we shouldn't be able to see the brows through. And then we're going to put our foundation on top. So to cover them, I'm going to use the Double Wear Maximum Cover because it's a full coverage foundation. So obviously now we need to blend. Bold cut. So obviously now we need to blend that in with the rest of the face. So I'm actually going to prime my skin ready for the makeup application. So I'm just going to use the Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm. So I'm going to go over with that Double Wear Maximum Cover first, just to make everything the same colour. And then I'm going to go over with a white face paint, work it in just to make everything a bit lighter. I'm going to use the Zoeva 142 Conceal and Buffing Brush. Just going to take some of that foundation on the brush and just work it in. So I'm going to go over the top with that white face paint. So I'm going to do this quite gently because I don't want to ruin the underneath face. Alright, so now we want to set all that with that translucent powder again. So I'm just going to grab my Zoeva 131 Lux Definer brush and I'm just going to dust that lightly all over the face just to set everything.
All right, so as you can see, I've done one eye. Well, I've done the blue part. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. So first of all, I'm gonna take my Giorgio Armani eyeliner brush and I'm gonna wet it. And I'm gonna use this Napoleon Purtis eyeshadow. Now I can't exactly remember the name, but I'll write it in the description box. I'm gonna draw that straight line first. Now you wanna be very delicate that you don't kind of ruin any of the work underneath. So just kind of dot it on, just to create a basic outline. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the Zoeva 234 Look Shader Brush. I'm gonna cover it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and we're going to apply that eyeshadow with the Fix Plus on it onto the lower part of the eyelid. We're just going to build this until we get a nice strong colour. So a couple of layers, keep building the colour until it's all opaque. You can't see the skin underneath it and it's all kind of one colour. With the eyebrow area, you do need to work for quite a while. You need to kind of keep on keep packing until it's all opaque, as you can see. So I'm just going to work on that and I'll fast forward you and I'll see you in a sec. All right, so now that we've got the blue on, we need to create a little bit of definition in the socket so it doesn't look so cartoony. So I'm gonna use my The Balm Le Shady Lady palette and I'm gonna use that blue there, so just a bit of a darker blue. And I'm gonna use my Zoeva 231 Petite Crease Brush just to apply that. And then I'm going to take my Zoeva 228 crease brush and just buff that out. So now I'm going to stick some, um, no I'm not, I'm going to do uh, the eyebrow and then I'm going to do the eyeliner. So I'm going to use my NYX liquid eyeliner and first I'm going to do the brows. So she literally has a really thin black line that runs the top of that blue eyeshadow. So I'm going to create that for you. And then as you get to the end, you just want to taper it off so it starts thick and it goes a little bit thin at the end. So same on the other side. I'm going to take the 220 Lux, 230 Lux pencil brush and I'm going to take a bit of a charcoal grey. So I'm going to use um, this grey from my Napoleon Purdy C palette. Again, I'll um, <laughs> tell you what colour it is. I'll link it. I'll write it in the description box. So taking a little bit on that brush and I'm going to just work that into the lower crease. So just about 
I don't know, half a centimeter from the lower lash line, just create kind of a new line. Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to make the eyes look big and round, like big cartoon eyes. So that gap between that grey that we've just created and the actual eyeball, so the waterline and that bit of skin, we're going to have to turn white. So I'm going to take an angled eyeliner brush, I'm going to take the white face paint, and I'm also going to take a bone coloured eyeshadow. So I'm using this one from the Napoleon Curtis Z palette. So I'm going to wet the angle brush, dip it into that white um, face paint, and then we're going to take it along that lower waterline. And then I'm going to take my 237 detail shader brush, a little bit of that white base paint, and just blend that in underneath the lash line. And we're going to set that with that bone eyeshadow. I'm going to go back in with that grey shade again. Alright, so now that the eyes are um, pretty much done, we're going to pop on some false lashes. So this is going to really finish off that look. So I'm going to use my um, Miranda Glam Manica lashes for the top. And for the bottom, I just got some lashes from um, this little shop called Dezo, which is a little Japanese shop. So they're of no brand, but I'm going to use them for the bottom. So glue-wise, I'm going to use my Ardell Lash Adhesive. And then I just want to put some mascara on the top lashes just to lift them up. So now I'm going to go on and do the lips and then we'll go on and finish the face. So I'm going to do um, the little heart shape lip. So I'm going to use my Giorgio Armani Maestro Lip Maestro in the shade 400 which is like a true red. Now I'm actually going to go in with a red line just to neaten up the edges, that was a dumb idea. So I'm going to pull the Imperdish Rocker Red Lip Liner and I'm just going to create the, um, the heart. lips and eyes done so now we just gotta finish the face so a little um, beauty spot just under her left eye so just here I'm just using that black mix eyeliner pen again and then I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of contouring just to make the face look a little bit more 3D so I'm just gonna use my Smashbox contour powder and I'm gonna use that little cool shade there because she's so pale, that really cool brown will look quite natural. So I'm just gonna grab my um, so we have a 109 Lux paintbrush and just gonna carve out a little bit of um, cheekbone. with his head. So 
So this is the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed that. I had so much fun doing that. Like I said, for the next um, three, four months, I'm going to be doing uh, Alice in Wonderland look every month. So this is the first one and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see what I've got coming up next, please subscribe. Please hit the like button if you like this video and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.